Hello and welcome to Star Citizen. I am on the 890. This footage is taken and I'm recording audio separately after the fact. Uh, PTU build is on your screen now. Probably in the bottom left or right corner, I'm not sure yet. I'm taking a look around the 890. Now, you've probably already seen the entry point, but uh, I'm trying to follow it in a roughly uh, passenger point of view at the beginning, and then I'm gonna move on to the crew stuff mostly because I honestly got lost a couple times the first time I came around, and this is just the route I memorized. <laughs> Once you uh, kind of get the hang of it, it's actually quite easy to navigate. The 890 has a ridiculous amount of rooms, and there's elevators everywhere. <laughs> Light ra life rafts, the works. You'll also notice running around that uh, certain certain rooms have very different feels depending on who's actually meant to be in them. So you see lots of warm colors. Then there's marble esque colors. It's all very well done. I mean, they put a lot of, a lot of detail into a lot of little things. And the most important room of the ball, the bar. I'm doing this in a arena commander because uh, I was having a little bit of trouble finding a landing pad that was capable of spawning the 890 that wasn't in use, even if there was no one actually landed there. Nice uh, business table with the raised roof, which is a nice touch. Wasn't quite expecting to be able to see the missile racks from the windows, but... I really like to look at the wind missile racks, personally. And you would have just seen a interest the contrast between the bar area and that little side room. And it's the same in any area transitioning, it's very starkly different. You can really feel that that area is meant for staff. And yet it's still fairly luxury. Beautiful views out of these windows. And here's the important area, the captain's quarters or area. First up we have the ready room. I'm really glad they went with a uh, a full window wall is very Star Trek ready room vibe. Smooth transition to captain's quarters, walk in bathroom. And a little dining area. Nice little uh, 890 jump painting. Even more great views and a, a lot of fish tanks. I imagine it would cost a fortune to keep all these fish. <laughs> Detail in the plants, as always. Now, I'm gonna quickly duck up to the bridge, mostly because the bridge is separate from the rest of the ship and there's no way to get from crew directly to to the bridge, but uh, it's very central, elevated, gives that position of power vibe. Very nicely done, very similar to the concept art as well. Now I'm not entirely sure what these are meant to be. 
I'm thinking they're meant to be like computers or something like along those lines. Now we have the, uh, the shower and sauna, spas. It's all very open. There's a lot of glass. Open, completely open showers. But hopefully, uh, in this day and age, there isn't too much issue with modesty, because you're not going to be able to hide anything in here. <laughs> Nice hot tub. Water's a little glitchy. And there's a, another fish tank in the bottom of the hot tub. I like the mosaic wall. But I kind of wish there was a window there. Or just a, a screen. Elevators go straight to the spa. Which is even more... So, I mean, those, those elevators go through the entire ship. Someone boarding the ship or the wait staff going up to deliver drinks is going to have to go and see into the sauna. And if you look at the floorboards here, as I'm walking past, they're all very, like, they line up with the deck chairs. A very stone look inside, so it almost looks like a, a cave. Now we move on to the engineering area. I've actually split the video here. Um, I th thought about editing out me, that little symbol, but I honestly can't be fucked. <laughs> Climbing down the ladder, I was half expecting to die on that ladder, to be quite honest. We're in the crew areas now, and you can immediately see the difference little bit of trouble with the interaction mode. Very nice engine rooms. Didn't actually go up those elevators. I think they just go up to the the other areas. What I do find weird is from a from a military point of view, this ship is there's elevators everywhere. I mean, you couldn't lock this ship down even if you wanted to. And you'll see a little bit later there's weapon racks near the hangar areas. So they also put some thought into this could be boarded, how do we defend it? As you can see, weapons, lockers. And there's a lot of lockers. Like, four per, there's four there. There isn't, I don't think there's even enough that's enough staff to support that <laughs> many weapons. It's like, what is everyone going to be going Rambo? Now some sections in here will be crew, uh, passenger as well, and you'll be able to kind of see from the material design. Uh, very compact med bay. I feel like there's more, there needs to be more in here, but... And we're into a, a guest area, little waiting room. thought you could open that, it looks like you can, but I couldn't see any evidence. I don't know if the paneling's missing or, any, or I'm just looking in the wrong place. Basketball hoop looks a little weird, but it's only covering a turret access. It's, uh, transitions a little weirdly, I don't quite get what's going on in that animation.
I haven't seen the damage output on those guns or what sizings they are, but they look rather small. I don't think that could really do anything. But very nice nonetheless. And then you have what I think is honestly the, co the coolest part of the ship. Um, I'll fuck around with this panel for a little bit. And you'll see the animation for the hangar doors at least, but you can't raise the elevator from this side for some reason. I'll uh, actually need to remember to put an issue cancel report in or see if it's still already there. It probably is. Initially, I thought it was going to call some other elevator. I mean, I, I kind of, from the, the railing, I was expecting it to go up. Plus, I'm, I've seen ships on the, uh, the hull. So, it was a, a fairly fair assumption. It's really like that, uh, that hangar closing. <laughs> Nice detailing on the inside. They didn't really need to put anything there. They could have easily got away with bludging it. And this is when I worked out it was just the panel that was broken. Decent thickness, looks realistic. It uh, goes up rather nicely. They've thought of people running around while it's up. And this walkway is on the other side. Didn't try and jump down. But uh, I imagine there's some way to elevate to get yourself back up. Probably even jumping on the on the ledge and pulling yourself up, animation-wise. Alrighty. More escape pods. And a wreck area. Pool, fridge. Seating, pretty basic. Some kind of game station. Very arcadey. Not quite sure you would need three bathrooms for a crew this small. But I mean, you never know. A lot of plant life on the ship. Very basic crew quarters. I was expecting more. I mean, high end luxury crew quarters you think would be a little bit more kitchen area. And there's a little bit of a dining area back there. And, oh, I think that was just a general kitchen area. This is the, the actual galley for the ship. Complete with walk-in freezer, which I don't think really utilizes as much space as it could. And here's the battle bridge. Well, this just about wraps everything up. We're back in the hangar. I think there's too much more I can, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'm heading up to the bridge again. 
and I'll take this moment to thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new. We're doing a range of content. I'm got some of our uh, clan members from Drunken Prophets Media posting the videos from their live streams on the channel as well. So keep an eye on that. It'll be mostly Rainbow Six Siege, but there'll be a few other games as well. And uh, I'm working on a few Starzism projects at the moment, which are slowly getting there. But once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.